Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today is my thrift haul video from yesterday when I went to the antique mall. And so I'm just gonna get right into it. No dilly dally, no. Um, I spent a total of 50 some dollars. I'm not exactly sure of individual prices, but here we go. Um, I don't know, I might as well just start big. I, I have had well, this one I'm going to show you, even though it just sold today. It's a Viking glass swung vase. Beautiful. Uh, 12, 14 inch. So I'll move on to a different Viking vase. This one. It's the same height. It's got the cutouts there print on the bottom beautiful I must say and then this smaller one and this is a 12 inch Viking octagonish on the bottom I think no there's six so There's that. I love those. I picked up this cute little Royal Copley um, planter with a duck. He walks alongside it. And unfortunately, there's just a hairline. You can barely see it on the outside but on the inside you can see it more. I have to clean these out yet, but. So, but it still has its sticker. The sun is shining, it is so beautiful outside. But green wheel, I just thought that was cute for Easter. I found this. We're all loving Kentucky these days and everywhere you wanted to go in the state of Kentucky is on this glass. Yep. There's a Louisville, Frankfurt, Jackson, Breaks of Big Sandy, yeah, I just, I don't know. I love the color number one. And I'm digging Kentucky lately, so. And I think there is an HA on the bottom of this. It's very worn, but I have to look into it. Um, This little gem is the cutest thing ever. And she has the biggest blue eyes. And she just wants to serve you some milk. And this is actually going to go to someone. I don't know if she realizes it, but yeah, she's cute. You gotta, you gotta admit. And then <clears throat> this one, oops, is a four piece fairy lamp. It looks like it's got um, thistle. Beautiful carved. I love it. And then, well, it came with this little, it's got a W on it. This little candle votive holder. But then it does have its middle piece. It's got some wax in there. Like I said, I have to clean these, but. Oh. And then the bottom. And there's no chips or cracks on this. And there's the thistle design again. So when it's all put together. There it is. I don't 
don't even know what I paid for that. I have no clue. And then, you may have seen this on my video, a little cupie. Maybe a piano baby. And let's go with Bunny. <laughs> and these little wings are the most adorable. They're just barely sprouting. Oh. Don't, don't look. So yeah, he's just adorable. Uh, let's see. I dig these. Time for salt. Time for Peppa. These are obviously salt and pepper shakers. They have their corks in the bottom. And they are a souvenir piece from the Badlands of South Dakota. But I don't care because they're telling you the time. It's time to season with salt and pepper. So, yeah, these are real wood. I mean, the bark is, it's real. Because a little bit of it fell off, unfortunately, but still, they sit up very nicely. They have little sticks there or whatever. And then the little bell at the top, it doesn't ring. Yeah, those are cute. Those are really cute. Um, <laughs> I have some crackle glass. And this has a very delicate stem applied stem. It's got a spout and it is hand blown. It has a pontal on the bottom. And yep, I got to clean it. But it's just probably about, I don't know, four, four and a half, five inches tall. And I just love how delicate this um, handle is. Shoot, there's another one that I was going to show you that is on the table over there. But And then I found some Hazel Atlas shakers. Now these are the same, but they're nice and big. They could be for cheese or um, some sort of seasoning other than salt and pepper. They'd come out pretty fast if it was for salt and pepper, but... These were cheap enough, I got them. I got them. They need a little scrub-a-dub. Little scrub-a-dub. I gotta adjust a little bit here. And then a Hazel Atlas syrup. Syrup, syrup as my family calls it because they're goofy. Um, but this is a plastic lid and it works very well and goes back on its own and comes off very nicely. I, I only paid probably a couple dollars for each of these. And these are plastic lids also and they come off and seal very nicely also. Cutest little bunny I ever saw. Mm -hmm. With that carrot. Those little eyelashes. I mean, the bunny's not that tall. He's only probably, she, maybe two inches tall. But the detail on her face. Can we get that? I don't know. There's a carrot. And it's a little trinket box or trinket egg. And there's no chips or cracks. There's no chips or cracks on any of these. And then 
this is hand painted and then the pink flowers on top and this is Byron molds 1980 I gotta get this sticker off of here I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's embossed in there but anyway it says that on the bottom on the bottom Okay, now these I got really cheap and for Christmas in July, I'm hoping I will have enough subscribers that I can have a Christmas in July. I don't know how many that would take, but I'm hoping that, you know, you guys will like it, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and share with your friends if they like to see thrifting videos and haul videos. So anyway, so real quick, I got these cute little uh, Christmas stocking earrings. Oh boy. And some candy canes. And Santa and Mrs. Claus singing their hearts out. Ooh. And Santa. These are vintage. They have um, the clasp that, you know, pulls over. Oh. And then I got a little poodle pin with ruby red eyes and I hope these are in focus I can't see squat and then <laughs> this is probably my favorite of the whole bunch is this dachshund this little wiener dog is just decorated decorated with oh the screen doesn't help it out with ornaments and bulbs, Christmas bulbs, and <laughs> darn cute. Um, a deer in a wreath, I love. And I don't know, in homage of someone else I follow on YouTube, I got a flamingo in some snazzy socks. <laughs> so, oh, and I have these. These are just home co. Home co butterflies. They need a good scrub. Yep. And they have their hooks on the back so they can go up on your wall in the bathroom or, or wherever. I think that was the popular place to put them. So I have one more thing that I wanted to show. It's over there. I'll be right back. The other crackle glass piece I wanted to show you. And I can't find anything. It's a cruette. Cruette, 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 whatever. And I haven't seen one. I haven't been able to find one with the metal bottom like this. And I'm not certain that it's sterling. There's no mark or anything on it. Um, I don't know if it's maybe pewter, but it's just beautiful. And hmm. so I'll have to look around and see. If you know um, anything about this, please comment below. I guess that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and please subscribe. Please make a comment and thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one.